Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do lesson 9.1 Relate tenth and decimals So our essential question is How can you record tenth as fractions and as decimals? Okay, we heard before about tenth like one tenth and two tenth and three tenth and so on and in today's lesson we will know how to write these fractions as decimals so to know this let's unlock the problem Ty is reading a book about metamorphic rocks he has read 7 tenth of the book what decimal describes a part of the book Ty has read so what is a decimal a decimal is a number with one or more digits to the right of the decimal point you can write tenth and hundredth as fractions or as decimals. So we have two ways here. One way is using a model and place value chart. First, we need to shade seven tenth of the model. The model is divided into ten equal parts. Each part represents one tenth. So to shade seven tenth, we will shade seven parts. So we'll shade seven parts, which they are seven tenth. Now we shade it seven tenth. So to write it, we write it seven over ten, and we we'll read it seven tenth. Okay. So let's use the place value chart. Here, seven tenth is seven tenth. How many ones do we have? We don't have any holes here, so zero ones. And we have seven at tenth and nothing at hundredth. So to write it, we write it like this zero point seven seven tenth and we read it seven tenth. Remember Tenth with th. Okay, so seven tenth we can write it as zero point seven. So if we have two tenth, for example, we can write it as zero point two. We don't have any holes, so in the ones we write zero, then the point, and in the tenth place we write two. So this is ones. And the 2 is at tenth. So the place value to the right of the decimal point is the tenth. And to the left of the decimal point, it is the ones. So to write, for example, 5 tenth, we have nothing in the ones. We write 0, then the point, and we have 5 tenth. We just write 5. Okay, another way is a number line. Label the number line with decimal that are equivalent to the fractions. Locate the point seven tenth. Okay, so here we have zero tenth, one tenth, two tenth, three tenth, four tenth, five tenth, six tenth, seven tenth, eight tenth, nine tenth, ten tenth, which is the one, the whole one. And here, 0 tenth, 0 0.0, 0, 0 tenth, 0 0.1, which is 1 tenth, 2 tenth, 3 tenth, 4 tenth, 5 tenth, 6 tenth, 7 tenth. So the 7 tenth, which we need, is the same as 0 0.7. And then 8 tenth and 9 tenth. We need from this the 0 0.7, the 7 tenth. So, 7 tenth names the same amount as 7 tenth. This we read it as 7 tenth and we read this also 7 tenth. So, even if it's a 0 0.7 or 7 over 10, we say 7 tenth. How can you write one tenth as a fraction? Explain. 
so 0 0.1 this is one tenth okay explain we have one at the tenth place so the digit one is at the tenth place so 0 0.1 is one tenth okay here Tara wrote her bicycle one and six tenth miles what this mall describes how far she rode her bicycle you have already written a fraction as a decimal you can also write a mixed number as a decimal so we have here also two ways one way use a module and place value chart first let's shade one and six tenth so we'll shade a whole one so this is a whole one let's shade the whole one and six tenth we'll shade six tenth so these are six tenth. So we write it one and six tenth. Okay, now let's use the place value chart. Here at once we have the whole one. So we write here one point in the tenth place we have the six. And we don't have anything in hundreds, so we write it one, then point, then six. It's one and six tenth, or we can read it as one and six tenth. And here in hundredth, we have nothing. We can write zero, or we can just leave it like this. If we wrote zero, we can write this. 1.60 it's the same number like we used it before if we put the zero at the left of the number it doesn't change the number here also if we have a decimal number if we put zero in the right the number doesn't change okay so the other way we will use the number line here we have one and zero tenth one and one tenth one and two tenth one and three tenth so let's finish this one and four tenth one and five tenth one and six tenth one and seven tenth one and eight tenth one and nine tenth and one and ten tenth ten tenth are actually a one so one and one two so it's two and zero tenth which is the two and here is one one and one tenth one and two tenth one and three tenth one and four tenth one and five tenth one and six tenth this is what we need then one and seven tenth one and eight tenth one and nine tenth so what names the same amount as one and six tenth it's one and six tenth which is 1.6 so tara wrote her bicycle 1.6 or we say it or we read it one and six tenth miles so it's really easy if we have a whole number we write it at once we write it to the left of the decimal point and the fraction we write it to the right of the decimal point for example if we have five and one tenth we write it like this we have a decimal point to the left of it we write the whole we write the five and to the right of it we have here one tenth we write here one if we have for example 17 and 5 tenth we'll do the same we we'll make the decimal point to the left of it we write the 17 the whole number 
and to the right of it we write the 5 okay try this write 1 as a fraction and as a decimal okay so first shade the model to show 1 to show a whole 1 we'll shade all of this square this is a whole 1 so we shade it 10 tenth or we shade it the whole 1 we can write it as 1 over 1 so 10 tenth or 1 over 1 and here we have a whole 1 and we have 0 at 10th and 0 at 100th so we can write it like this a whole 1 then point then 0 10th and we can also write here 0 100th and now for share and show write 5 tenth as a fraction and as a decimal okay so 5 tenth we will shade 5 rectangles 1 2 3 4 5 we'll shade 5 rectangles like, like this so this is 5 out of 10 or here we can write it we don't have any holes we have only 5 tenths so as a fraction we have here 5 parts out of 10 so 5 tenth and as this move it would be 0 0.5 this is also 5 tenth Here, write the fraction or mixed number and the decimal shown by the model. Here we have, this is a whole one. This is also a whole one, so we have two. And we have one, two out of ten, so it means we have two and two tenths. Or, as a decimal, we can write like this, two holes, then the decimal point then two tenth here in number three he wants this number so this is zero tenth one tenth two tenth three tenths four tenth five tenth this is six tenth seven tenth this one will be eight tenth so as a fraction it's eight tenth and as a decimal, 8 tenth, 0 0.8. And now, it's your turn. If you are in my class, please solve on your own questions and we'll discuss it on the live session. Hope you guys all enjoyed the lesson and have a nice day. Bye.